Hello, and a very warm welcome to this course on the new features in this release of Motion. My name's Ian Anderson, and I'm an Apple certified trainer in Final Cut Pro. I've been using Motion since version 1. This release introduces many changes to the user interface, making it darker, redesigning icons, and moving some items around. But there are also additional new features and content, like this arrow, like the Align To behaviour, and enhancements to the Link behaviour, which are very useful indeed. I'll be showing you all of those, as well as some improvements with the Touch Bar on the new MacBook Pro. But before we get started, I just wanted to show you a couple of quick tips to do with shortcut keys. If you go to Motion Commands Customize, I do mostly like the standard shortcuts, but I find myself pressing A and recording animation, or V, and whenever I press either of those keys, I really just wanted the arrow tool. And the real name for that tool here is, of course, the Edit tool. So if I search for Edit, I'll see there's actually Edit Tool and Reset Edit Tool. I'm going to drag Reset Edit Tool to A, and I'll have to make a new shortcut set here. I'm going to call it Ian. And I'll also drag Reset Edit Tool to V. And the reason that I keep pressing those is that A is what I'd press in Final Cut, and V is what I'd press in Photoshop or InDesign or Illustrator to get back to that generic arrow tool. And I, I can't break the muscle memory. If you do want animation on a key, and you may well, I'd recommend using Shift Backslash. That way it's convenient, but it's out of the way. Hit Save, then Close, and you're good to go. And whatever tool you're on, you just press A or V, and you're back to the arrow. In the next video, I'll start by showing you the new user interface.